We are also working new developments in a deadly shooting we've been tracking now for more than a year. Today, an admitted gang member was sentenced for his role in a 2013 shooting that killed an innocent 12-year-old girl and wounded three women. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us now live from Superior Court for the Providence Mobile Newsroom. One of the five people convicted in a murder of a 12-year-old girl was sentenced today to serve 12 years in prison. That amounts to one year for each of the 12 years the young girl was among us here on Earth. It would be hard to imagine a more senseless scenario. 20-year-old Angel Valerio is one of five admitted gang members convicted in the profoundly sad murder of a 12-year-old girl, Inese Vargas. She was shot and killed, and three grown women were injured back in June of 2013. It happened outside at a graduation party in the Hartford Park Housing Project in Providence. Prosecutors say five gang members drove by bent on revenge against rival gang members. But when it turned out their rivals weren't even at the party, that didn't stop the shooter from firing a gun into the crowd anyway. Inez Vargas was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Defendant's history. Today, Angel Valerio became the third of the five gang members convicted in this murder to face the legal music. I can only offer my apologies and regrets for having any involvement in that tragedy. Judge Robert Krause sentenced Angel Valerio to serve 12 years in prison. But first, the judge gave the convicted criminal a piece of his mind. You are more than just a young miscreant. You're a young fuck. A prosecutor called all of the violence going down out on the streets, quote, a blood sport. That's new at 6. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News. Now another suspect is sentenced for his role in the deadly shooting of a 12-year-old girl. Today, a judge sentenced Angel Valerio to 12 years behind bars. Investigators say he was with four other men who drove up to a graduation party, one of them opening fire, hitting and killing Inez Vargas. New at 6, a prosecutor sounds off on this kind of violent gang activity. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us now live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Shannon, a criminal courthouse rarely is a happy place, and so it was again today when a man convicted in the murder of a 12-year-old girl took the heat. It was an apology spoken with all of the emotion of a guy who had accidentally crashed a car that injured someone. I just want to take this chance to say I'm sorry for what happened. I'm sorry for my involvement with those events. But this was an apology from a man who admits to his role not in a car crash, but in a murder of a 12-year-old girl, Inez Vargas. It was at a graduation party in Providence in June of last year. Prosecutors say five gang members drove by bent on revenge against rival gang members. But when it turned out their rivals weren't there, the shooter fired a gun into the crowd anyway, killing Inez Vargas. A prosecutor was angry. This is not a drama. It's not about posing or throwing hand signs or playing vacuous games of respect reported in and fueled by social media or competing videos. It's a blood sport that ends lives. A judge sentenced Angel Valerio to serve 12 years in prison. That amounts to one year for each of the 12 years Inez Vargas was alive. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.